Dry January is an annual tradition where people choose to abstain from alcohol for the first month of the year. It's like a New Year's resolution for your liver. The idea is to give your body a break from the festive indulgences of the holiday season. Participants often use this time to reflect on their drinking habits, save money, or simply to feel healthier. It's a popular personal challenge that has caught on in many places. Fostering a community of folks supporting each other to stick to their goals. Think of it as hitting the reset button on your relationship with alcohol. Starting the year on a fresh, sober note, Engaging in dry January can also lead to some interesting self-discoveries. As the wine glasses and beer mugs stay on the shelf, many people find new ways to unwind or socialize that don't involve alcohol. It's like opening a treasure chest of hobbies and activities that might have been overlooked, from experimenting with mocktail recipes to picking up an old guitar gathering dust in the corner. This alcohol Free voyage often brings a wave of clarity, improving sleep patterns, boosting energy levels, and sometimes even sharpening that clever wit you didn't realize was a bit foggy. Moreover, dry January isn't just a solo journey, it's a communal voyage on the sober seas. There's a whole flotilla of support available, from social media groups to local community meetups, sharing experiences, challenges, and victories with others can turn this month, long endeavor into a richly rewarding experience. Whether it's swapping tips on how to politely decline a drink at a party or celebrating the milestones reached, the sense of camaraderie can be surprisingly uplifting. So while the month may be dry in terms of beverages, it's often overflowing with new connections, insights, and a renewed zest for life.